Hey everyone, it's Melanie here from Bright House Scents and I have some vendor wax empties to share with you and I have some candle empties to share with you. I have so many empties to share with you. It's got, it got very real. So um, for the most part, I get four to six hours from vendor wax where it's performing like nice and strong and then it's kind of dies down from there. Um, so when I'm saying like, oh, this performed well, what I mean is I got the standard four to six hours and during that time it was nice and strong. So um, let's just dive in. I've sorted it out by vendor by vendor. So I have case scented melts. I just recently got this one from Brandy from Bars and Bricks with Brandy. She sent me this one. Um, thank you, Brandy. I loved this. This is raspberry jam and bake shop. And it's like a berry bakery kind of smell. It was great. Okay, um, that was it from Case Scented Melts. L3 Waxy Wonders. Did you guys get the email that L3 is closing down in September? I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm only just getting into it. I've only placed like maybe three orders from L3. I love this wax. It performs very nicely in my house. So I finished a scoop. I think the scoops are my absolute favorite. I don't know what it is, if it's like the formulation of the wax or whatever it might be, but like the scoops are a 10 out of 10 for me and all the scoops I've tried have performed at a 10 out of 10 and it lasts for a pretty long time. I don't know, they're, they're really good. And you get a ton of worms out of this. So this one was vanilla chestnut hazelnut coffee, sugar cookie royale. And it's just like a nice coffee bakery. Um, I did two little um, scent shots. I cut these in half and use them in my warmers. I got bear claw sugar cookie s'mores and peanut butter cookies toasted mallow s'mores. So I did, I cut these in half and then like put them in alternating warmers. And it was kind of like um, caramel, bakery, maybe chocolatey, marshmallowy, you know, standard bakery kind of smell. Um, also from L3, I did lavender frost which is lavender Christmas trees, vanilla bean Noel, sugar coast, sugar cookie, and toasted mallow. And um, I really like this. I liked the lavender mixed with the tree, but then mixed with like the, the sugar cookie and the toasted mallow. It was almost like it was kind of bakery and kind of like seasonal, but not bakery. But you know, anyway, I use it in my bedroom and I really enjoyed that. I had these little like, I don't know if she calls these bunts, but I can cut them into four really nice sizes. So I did mocha cake batter brownie, no mocha cake batter and brownie batter. And this was basically like a brownie kind of smell. I do like chocolate and wax. Then I did pumpkin, peanut, brittle, and roasted pine cones. I didn't really get the pumpkin, peanut, brittle, but I did get the roasted pine cones from this, and it was fantastic. I'm obsessed with roasted pine cones. And then I did a little sample, and it was blueberry, pumpkin, patch, BBW type, blueberries and cream, banana, nutmeg, bread, pudding. Um, and this was pure blueberry. It was just one little piece. I did it in my office, and this legitimately went like from morning to night. I left my office, I came back several hours later and I was like, wow, the blueberry is still going. This was like an absolute champion. Now, of course, it's like a smaller space, my office, but still that performs super well. Okay, so that's it from L3. From Up the Creek Scents. Now, I just got to give a really amazing plug for Up the Creek. Up the Creek on average performs at like a minimum of an 8 out of 10 for me, if not a 9, if not a 10 out of 10. It is one of the top performing waxes in my entire collection in my house and it's consistent over and over and over again. Every blend that I melt is like coming out of the gate just with a bang and it'll go for four hours and it is cranked in my house. So if you're not getting into Up the Creek sense, you need to get into it because... For me, the performance is magnificent. So I did warm uh, warm vanilla sugar and blueberry. Um, and the blueberry was not like a bakery blueberry. It was more like a sugared kind of blueberry with the warm vanilla sugar. It was amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Up the Creek has a really great blueberry. Um, pink peppermint sugar cookies, which is like maybe pink sugar and sugar cookies and peppermint. I was doing this one in my bedroom and it was fantastic. It was like... The peppermint was almost like a sweet candied bakery kind of peppermint with the sugar cookie. This performed amazing and I loved it. Then I had two samples, Blonde Moment. I don't care for this. Um, I don't know what's in Blonde Moment, but it's not something that is like my thing. So it performed well, but it's just like not a scent that I care for. 
and then salted caramel pumpkin apples, which was amazing. I did this one in my office as well. It was just one um, little square and it went all day, all day long. It was fantastic. Okay, let's dive into Harper James. So I got winter season, which is Palo Santo, sugar cookie royale, twisted peppermint, and vanilla balsam. This was amazing. Um, you got the Palo Santo, and you got the balsam, and then you got like the vanilla kind of, you know, like almost creaminess, but not quite creamy, but like it was so good. I loved it. Lavender Palo. This is lavender, vanilla, and Palo Santo from Harper James. Lavender Palo. I liked it, but I wouldn't repurchase this one. This is Palo Santo and Vanilla, which I did get those things. And I got the lavender too, but the lavender was like almost like an herbal lavender or like not herbal, like spa kind of. And spa lavender is not my favorite. I like the sweet lavender, almost like sugared and candied kind of lavender. So I enjoyed it very much while it was warming. It just wouldn't be a repurchase, but I liked it. Cracklin Birch. Oh, this would be a repurchase right here. White Birch, Tonka Bean, and Cedarwood. If you like a Cracklin Birch smell, oh my gosh, this one was so good. Harper James, Cracklin Birch. Um, these are brownie bags, so you get uh, two, four, six cubes. So when I do this in my open concept, I use the whole entire bag. Um, and that gives me enough scent, you know, and this was so good. That was so good. I have another bag of that maybe even two, that's a repurchase for me. And I will continue to repurchase that until forever. It's it's a great performer and it smells amazing. Uh, perfect match. This was peanut butter, sweet strawberry jam and fresh baked bread. So I can't smell peanut butter in wax. And I've tried the peanut butter from every vendor. I mean, I've tried them all, I feel. Well, maybe not all of them, but you know what I mean. I've tried a lot. I can't get peanut butter. So I did not smell any peanut butter from this, but I did get the sweet strawberry jam and the fresh baked bread and it was magnificent. Jelly of the Month Club, which is fresh baked bread and raspberry jam. And I think I liked this one better than the other one, although I did really like the other one. I think I like this one better because I was getting a bit more of like the bread from this one and I'm obsessed with bread smell. So jelly of the month I think I liked better than perfect match. But nonetheless, I like them both very much. Sweet strawberry cookies. This is strawberry pound cake, pink sugar and sugar cookie. I do this in my bedroom because I love pink sugar in my bedroom and then strawberry pound cake and sugar cookie. This is magnificent. I don't know if this would perform in an open space though, because in my bedroom, I'm using, um, this is the brownie bag, you get six cubes. So I'm getting two worms out of this. I'm using three cubes each time I do I do this one. So three cubes in my bedroom is a, is a, a good amount of wax in that room. Um, and this only goes for about a day and a half. So it smells amazing, but it doesn't really last that long for the space. So I wouldn't use this in my open space, but I would repurchase it. It's great. It's just, you know, it doesn't last as long as I want it to. Strawberry pound cake. Oh, Harper Dream strawberry pound cake. I can't even with this. This was a full loaf. I finished an entire loaf of this. I can't even with this. I love it so much. Here's the thing. The reason that I love it so much is like the whipped cream note in this is so good. It's strawberry, lemon zest, pound cake, and whipped cream. And I really get the whipped creaminess, which is what I love in this. But it only lasts for four hours. So I can use it in my open concept um, and it booms for four hours, but then it's gone. It, it's like you're not getting a minute past the four hour mark. It's like it's on a timer. It hits that four hour mark and I'm like, I can't smell it. So I started using this in smaller spaces because I was thinking maybe if I put it in smaller spaces, then I'll just get a little bit more out of it because I love it so much. So I tried it in my office, tried it in my bedroom, in my studio, and it did go for a little bit longer, but not much. Like in my office, it only went for six hours and in my bedroom, it only went for six hours. So I don't get longevity from this, but it is magnificent and I would repurchase it in a heartbeat. I absolutely love it. And while it's going, it's going really well. Uh, don't get it twisted, pretzel, churro, caramel, cinnamon, sugar, donuts. Mostly I get the pretzel from this. Don't get it twisted. Um, that's mostly pretzel and I like it very much. And here's another pretzel one. This is I'd rather not. And this is fresh baked bread and pretzel. And I get more of the pretzel in this one than the bread as well. 
So I love pretzel smell. So these are two, they're good pretzel ones if you want that. But the other scent notes in them, I feel like you're not getting as much. It's mostly pretzel. Okay, let's move on to Goose Creek. So Goose Creek recently started shipping to Canada and um, I went in and I purchased a bunch of their candles and wax melts. The wax melts were $3 on sale. And I was like, I love that price. That's great. I'm going to purchase a bunch of scents that I think I like. And then I'm going to purchase a bunch of just like ones that maybe will appeal to me, but I don't really know because I have never used the wax before. But I thought for $3, I could get like a few different scents that maybe I wouldn't normally gravitate towards. So I did that and I've been warming through a lot of it and I have mixed feelings. So um, we'll dive in and I'll sort of talk about how I feel. So I did Snickerdoodle for Santa. So on cold, I found a bunch of these smelled like wax, like you could smell the waxiness. And I was hoping that when I warmed them, they wouldn't smell as waxy or as fake or as like not, they almost smelled like a wax melt that wasn't good quality. You know, like you could really smell that it was a wax melt. So um, I warmed a bunch of them and I, I still kind of got that on some of them, but not on all of them. So snick, snicker doodle for Santa. <sighs> yeah, you get like a cookie. You do get a cookie to it, but it smelled waxy on cold. And when I warmed it, not that it was super waxy, but it was just kind of like, this is a low budget wax is what it smelled like. You know, like it smelled like cheap wax. I don't know. Is that mean to say? I don't know. Like that's just, I got to tell the honest truth. It smelled like cheap wax. But then I warmed um, carrot cake pop and I did two of these. I did this in my whole open concept and in my basement. And then this one was awesome. And this did not smell like cheap wax. It did not smell waxy. It smelled like really good. Like I got, you know, carrot cakiness from it. So then I was like, oh, okay, I, I do really like this wax. This is really good. And then I did white icing cinnamon rolls. Did I do two of those? Oh no, I just did one of those. I did white icing cinnamon rolls as well. Um, and this one was really good too. I enjoyed that. I got a lot of the cinnamon from that. It was nice. I did white Christmas cake. Um, and this was cakey. It was okay. It was kind of more like vanilla than cake, although I did get some cake from it. It was okay. I didn't love it, but I didn't dislike it. Um, and then I got into like some more fresh kind of smells. So I did Snowball Fight. And Snowball Fight was really fun. I thought it would be wintry, but it was actually more springtime. It was like, there's definitely a floral in this and some kind of clean kind of smell in this. It's almost like a fresh, clean, outdoorsy floral smell. Um, it was very springtime and I did it in my bathrooms and it made my bathrooms quite fresh and it lasted for a few days in there. So that was good. Uh, Frozen Waterfalls. This one was like masculine, um, kind of like a fresh masculine body wash. I did it in my bathrooms. It performed well. I mean, not repurchases for me, but it performed well. Um, I did Snowy Branches. And this one was like, it's kind of like clean outdoors, but there's a hint of dryer sheet in this. This one went in my bathrooms probably for like three full days and it became like very laundry as it would progress. I was like, oh yeah, it's definitely a laundry kind of smell. I didn't dislike it. I mean, it was very bathroom appropriate and it lasted quite a while and it wasn't waxy. So that one was okay. And then Wonderland is the last one that I did here. And this one I liked probably the best of these clean ones. This has like a clean vibe to it, but there's like a bit of a vanilla, I think, in this. I don't know what the actual scent notes are. But yeah, I kind of got a clean vibe. I kind of got some vanilla. Maybe there's like a bit of mint in here. I don't know. It was, I did it in the bathrooms and it was nice. So my overall impressions for Goose Creek wax melt specifically is like, meh, they're okay. Are they worth three dollars? Sure. I'm happy to spend three dollars on them and then if I like them, I like them. If I don't, I don't and that's okay for me. I would repurchase at three dollars. I probably wouldn't specifically repurchase any of these scents except for the carrot cake one, um, but I definitely would try new ones. Uh, but at full price for these, like no and not even like not more than three dollars. That would be my max spend. Um, but then I also did some candles from Goose Creek and I got really good performance from those. So anyway, we'll, we'll get into that when we get into the candles. Okay, let's dive into Rose Girls. Rose Girls has been performing so, so well in my house. It's been amazing. 
Okay, there's only one scent of this entire bunch and look how many bags I have here that I did not like. And it performed great, but it just, ew, it's disgusting. Bro, do you even beach? Please tell me if you're getting into this. So this is Ocean Mist, Mandarin Oranges, Bonfire, and Velvet Woods. And I don't know why, but this smells like sunscreen to me, but like, um, like copper tone sunscreen, which for me personally, I hate that smell. That smell of copper tone sunscreen in wax is absolutely disgusting to me. So if you like that smell, I think you would like Bro Do You Even Beach? Because that's all I got. It was a boomer. I mean, I was doing it in my bathroom, so it was pretty strong in the bathroom. Um, performed really well, but I absolutely hated it. <laughs> it smelled horrible to me. Um, but all the rest I love, and I love Rose Girls right now, and it's performing really well. So Mario's Home for the Holidays, Christmas Wish, Oh Christmas Tree, Toasted Ma Marshmallow, Royal Sugar Cookie, and Vanilla Bean. Fantastic. It's like a vanilla tree kind of smell. Thwomps, I loved this. It's Pine, Peppermint, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Campfire Marshmallow. The pine is not too, too heavy. The peppermint is not too heavy. It's like it's all rounded out with the sugar cookie and the Campfire Marshmallow. And this is just, this is really good. I loved it. Um, wearing his flannel. Oh, I was doing this one in my bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Vanilla, sandalwood, Palo Santo, and wood smoke. You do get the wood smoke from this. So you gotta, you gotta like that. You know, it's like, if you don't like a wood smoke kind of smell, this is not for you. But if you do, then I think this is definitely something you should try. The Palo Santo is there. It doesn't lean too masculine. I thought it might, but it doesn't. You get that wood smoke, you get that Palo Santo, you get that vanilla sandalwood, and it's not overly masculine. And I really liked that. The North Woods Apple Fritter Roasted Pine Cones and Palo Santo. I mean, need I say more? So good. Her apple fritter smell is so good. Cookie Land Confetti Cake Toffee Butterscotch Pretzels and Cookies. I didn't get a ton of pretzel from this one, um, but I definitely got that toffee butterscotch. I do like butterscotch, so I liked that one, but I feel like if you don't like that, then you wouldn't like Cookie Land. Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs, it's Monster Cookie and Marshmallow Smoothie. It's just like, to me, that one's like a generic, warm, cozy bakery smell, and I love it. Hallelujah, holy shit, where's the Tylenol? Eggnog, carrot cake, cream cheese frosting, vanilla crunch donuts. I did get the carrot cake and the eggnog, and both of those together had like a teensy bit of spice, but not too much spice. It was more just like bakery goodness. Christmas Eve in Cookie Land, Eggnog, Royal Sugar Cookie, Monster Cookie, Marshmallow Smoothie, and Donut Holes. You get the eggnog and the sugar cookie, and it's just like cozy and fantastic. Oh, Pistachio Pretzel Pops. Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10. Pistachio Cake Pops, Salted Pretzels, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I basically got pistachio cake batter. That's how this smelled. If ever I was going to smell the cake batter, like not the cooked cake, like the raw cake batter, but it was like enhanced with pistachio by like a thousand percent. That's what I got here. It was like pistachio cake batter. I loved it. It was a 10 out of 10 performer. It was magnificent. Magnificent. Carbs. I'm obsessed. Donuts, cookies, and bread. I just, look, carbs. You need it. You need it. You need it. If you're a bakery lover, you need it. If you're not getting into carbs, you got to get into it. It's so magnificent. It's just to me like this generic cozy bakery smell but like it's like you wouldn't know oh is there donuts is there cookies is there bread it's like none of these scents are standing out so much that it's like it's all meshed together so you're like oh it's just bakery <laughs> but like the best bakery ever so good a very mario thanksgiving i went through two bags of this one uh this ended up really growing on me i tried it and i liked it um, and then, um, it went on sale. She had like a discount or whatever. So then I bought two more bags and then I, I just kept warming it. And like, it's becoming an all time favorite for me. I'm loving this. There's sweet potato in this. It's sweet potato, royal sugar cookie, pie crust, caramelized pralines, sweet pumpkin pie, and sprinkle of marshmallow. I don't get pumpkin pie from this. I get this like sweet potato mixed with sugar cookie and maybe like some caramelized praline. And the sweet potato is nice. It's like dessert bakery kind of, as opposed to like cooked food. You know what I mean? It's really, I'm really loving that one. It's good. 
Cinnamon banana donuts. This is banana bread, dunk my donut, and snickerdoodle cookies. I love this. You get like a cinnamon sugared banana smell. It's so good. Carbs with ghoul friends. This is good. Pumpkin sugar donuts, cookies, bread, vanilla bean noel, Nella wafers, monster cookie, and, mon and marshmallow smoothie. Um, and this was really great. This is like you get the sugared donuts, which is like a cinnamon sugar kind of donut smell mixed in with like bakery goodness. Fantastic. Wake and bake with Santa, gingerbread cookies, sugar cookies, coffee, and a little Christmas magic. I got a little bit of the gingerbread here and the coffee. I didn't really get whatever Christmas magic is or sugar cookies. It was kind of more like a gingerbread coffee kind of smell. I liked it. I didn't love it. Would I repurchase it? Maybe I would around Christmas time, but maybe I wouldn't. I'm not sure. I, you know, it wasn't a love for me. And then love you a latte. I just did this one today, actually. Espresso donut holes and gooey marshmallow. You do get the espresso from this. It is coffee forward for sure. But the donut holes gives it like something bakery, you know, it gives it like just this bit of sweetness and like the gooey marshmallow allows it to be like a little bit of sweet, but with the coffee, it's a nice coffee blend. I liked it a lot. Okay. So that's Rose Girls. It's been performing super well in my house and I've been loving my life. Melting Memories, Forbidden Desires. I just finished off this clam. This is like a men's cologne kind of smell. I put this in my bathroom, went for three days in there. As it progresses, it gets sweet. So it starts off like very generic men's body wash cologne kind of smell, and then it progresses into something very sweet. Um, and I actually, by day three, I actually really love that one. Um, I like the way that it transforms. It's a nice one. Um, I did wood wicks. This is from Yankee Candle. You can get wood wicks at Yankee Candle. Um, so I finished a clam of this and this is smoked walnut and maple. You get smokiness from this. Like I can smell the smokiness right in the clam. You are getting a smokiness with a bit of sweetness from the maple. Um, I like smoky fragrances, so I did really like this. I would repurchase this if I saw it on sale, but if you don't like smoky, you would not like this one. When I purchased these, these were on sale for $3 at one point, and these like never go on sale at Yankee Candle. So when they went on sale for $3, I bought a bunch of different fragrances and like some that were just maybe like wild cards and I wasn't sure, but I was like, meh, for $3, let's try it. Um, and this was like well worth my $3. I loved it, performed fantastically. I would definitely repurchase it. Okay, Pretty Like Livy. This is a Canadian vendor that sadly I don't love and it's too bad. Her wax is performing very well in my house. It's just the base of the wax is really um, odd to me. It has, there's like some kind of scent to the base of the wax that I'm not enjoying. And it's too bad because it's performing well, but there's something in it. So like every blend that I smell, I can smell the scent notes and I like them, but I, there's also this undertone that's not working for me and it's in every single scent. So I feel like it's the base of her wax. Um, so I did French Toast, um, I did Sour Patch Kids, I did Cocoa and Lavender. This was a really fun scent. I would love to try Cocoa and Lavender from a different vendor or like in a different base of wax because I, I thought the scent itself was like pretty unique and cool. Um, and then Cozy Cottage I tried as well. So, I mean, pretty like Livy. The performance is good. It is. It's performing well. Um, it's just not for me. The base of the wax is just not for me. What can you do, you know? Too bad because I got a bunch of that wax and I, I gifted some of the wax recently because I'm like, I just can't use it. It's not, it's not good for me. Okay, I did Ella After Wax Co. I did cinnamon buns. This is cinnamon, sugar, fresh donuts, and vanilla icing. Um, I do Ella After in my small spaces, and that's where I get the best performance. This performs super well. Did that one in my office. And then Lives, um, Lives of the Wicked, Dutch Apple Crunch and Never Ending Netflix. And this was kind of like an apple... Uh, cinnamon sugary apple kind of smell um, but not too much apple more like the cinnamon sugar um, and I did that in my studio and my basement and it performed well there okay lavender and speckles yes I got into a bunch of lavender and speckles so a while back I got um, the lavender and speckles sampler the strawberry pound cake one and the pretzel one so I've just been letting those sit and cure for a while. And so I sort of dove in and started warming a bunch of those. 
So I did frosted, frosted lemon pound cake and pretzel. I definitely got the pound cake, the lemon pound cake forward. I liked it. It didn't give me floor cleaner vibes, which was nice because most lemons do. So I enjoyed that. Um, average sort of throw for that. Um, blackberry marshmallow cookie pretzel. This was blackberry forward. I loved this. The blackberry was like rich and juicy and fantastic. This was probably one of the, my most favorite ones that I melted from lavender and speckles. Um, I didn't get marshmallow. I didn't get cookie. I didn't get pretzel. I got like full on blackberry and I wasn't not mad about it. It was delicious. Um, blueberry pecan, uh, blueberry pecan waffles, apple cider donuts and pretzel. I mostly got the blueberry in this one. Berry smells work pretty well in my house. Like if there's a berry mixed in with something else, I'm oftentimes going to smell the berry. Um, that's just sort of how it works. Okay, smoked blackberries. Oh my gosh, this one was so good too. Sweet blackberries blended, blended with marshmallow fireside and palo santo. I loved it. Smoked blackberries. I don't know. Lavender and speckles blackberry is really hitting home for me. Okay, um, strawberry glazed donuts. This is strawberry pound cake, creamy vanilla, sugared waffle cones, and glazed donuts. I mostly got like that cinnamon sugary glazed donut smell. I could basically not smell strawberry pound cake in there. It was really minimal. And when I got this sampler to start, I noticed that the strawberry pound cake was kind of in the background of most of the scents which is why I wanted to let it sit for a little while just to see if the strawberry pound cake would come forward. It didn't really, it was mostly the glazed donuts, which was, I mean, was ma magnificent. It smelled like cinnamon sugar donut goodness. It's just, it wasn't strawberry pound cake. Carnival ride, strawberry pound cake, juicy apples, maple bourbon, and cotton candy. Again, for this one, I didn't get so much strawberry pound cake, but I did get the juicy apples and that maple bourbon, and that was nice and strong, performed very well loopy strawberries oh boy this was a 10 out of 10 in my house strawberry pound cake blended with fruit loops and a touch of green apple so i didn't get any strawberry pound cake from this i got full on fruit loops and green apple full on 10 out of 10 fruit loops i like fruit loops so it's like i was enjoying them all these ones from the strawberry pound cake sampler i've been thoroughly enjoying them but i'm just not getting as much strawberry pound cake from them but i'm still liking what i'm getting Strawberry marshmallow and Palo Santo. This is strawberry pound cake, gooey marshmallow and Palo Santo. I did get the strawberry pound cake more so in this one and it mixed beautifully with the Palo Santo. And this would probably be a repurchase for me in a larger bag. I really liked that. Salty butterscotch pine cones. This is exactly what it was. It was butterscotch goodness mixed with pine cone. You wouldn't think those two things would go together, but it worked somehow. Pine cones in spice and sugar cookie. This one's fantastic. Roasted pine cones blended with cinnamon buns and creamy frosting, a touch of pumpkin pie spice, and now sugar cookies for a hint of sweetness. So you get the roasted pine cones mixed with the cinnamon bun, but not so much like bun. You're not really getting like bread. It's more like a cinnamon sugar mixed in with the roasted pine cones. Loved that and I would repurchase that. That was pine cones and spice and sugar cookie. I'd repurchase that in a heartbeat. Dreamy pine cones. This is dreamy marshmallow clouds, BBW type, blended with roasted pine cones. I did this one in my bedroom because I thought the dreamy marshmallow clouds would be like a good bedroom kind of smell with the pine cones. I really enjoyed this. It was nice. Um, it was it was on the lighter side, but I did warm this kind of as soon as I got it. I didn't really give it much cure time. It was on the lighter side, but because it was in my bedroom, it was still okay. You know, because like my bedroom's small, so it was all right. So that worked out. Okay, Zape. Um, I only have two here from Zape. I have a clam in, what is this? Snickerdoodles Espresso. Oh yeah, Snickerdoodles and Espresso. Um, this was like a nice coffee espresso kind of smell. And then Frosty Palace. This is vanilla ice cream, marshmallow cream, chocolate fudge drizzle, and crispy waffle cones. Okay, if you like a chocolatey kind of smell, this is for you. I didn't get any of these other notes. This was pure chocolate. It was um, rich, long lasting, like strong, but it was like full on chocolate. I like chocolate and wax, so I liked it. But if I think if you're not like, if you don't love chocolate and wax, you need to steer clear from that because that was pure chocolate. 
Okay, we're on to the last vendor, which is Sassy Girl Aroma. This is most definitely uh, my favorite wax to melt in my home. It is the best performing wax that I've used in my home. I absolutely love it. Uh, if you're following Julie and the family and Sassy Girl, you know that they've been dealing with a lot of devastation lately. So um, I've been sending prayers and I know a bunch of you guys have been sending prayers and sending love and there's people sending like financial help and that kind of thing. They've just been going through a lot. So I cherish every moment of this wax that I get to melt and I'm so blessed that I have this amazing collection of it. Um, and I can't wait for them to, you know, get back on their feet and get things sorted and be able to make their amazing wax again, you know, and I'm just, I'm so thrilled that I have the wax that I have. So let's go through um, what I went through for Sassy Girl. I had two, um, two samples. I did persimmon salsa, which I didn't think smelled like salsa at all. This was like fruity, fruity goodness, like tropical fruity magnificent. It performs so well in my house. I loved that. I would buy that in a larger size. And then I did pinata. And this was also fruity, but more like a sugary candied kind of fruitiness. I liked it too. Boomer. They boomed, both of them. Okay, then I have these little um, cookie sizes. And I cut these into four pieces. So I had non-stick pan, which is Fruit Loops, Sugar Cookie, Whipped Cream, and Blackberry. And definitely the Fruit Loops was the star of the show, but also you got the Blackberry on that, and that was great. Then I have a mixing bowl, which is Coconut Milk, Sugar Cookies, Wild Berry Mousse, Serendipity, and Zucchini Bread. And on this one, you're getting the Wild Berry Mousse and the Zucchini Bread. Um... Sassy Girl Aroma Wildberry Mousse is so good. It performs super well and it's just magnificent in my home. Okay, we have cookies under the Christmas tree, pine sugar cookie and vanilla bean. Very much just like a, you know, vanilla tree kind of smell. Beaker, pretzel, latte, vanilla bean noel, blueberry and birthday cake. You get the pretzel, you get the latte, you get the blueberry. It's magnificent. Balsam milkshake, balsam fur and peppermint milkshake. The peppermint milkshake is like kind of creamy, so it's not like too pepperminty, you know, which is what I valued. Coffee shop, blackberry latte and zucchini bread. You get the blackberry, the zucchini bread, and the latte. If you like those scent notes, you got to get into that one. That's called coffee shop. Jingleberry wreath. I am in love with this one. Okay, fresh green forest drenched with fresh berries. I barely got forest from this. I got like sweet sugary candied berries but not like so sweet like um summertime berries but more like sugared sweet this performed so well it went from morning to night i did not change out my wax i had it going in my open concept and it was like the richest sugared sweet berry kind of smell i didn't even get tree from that or like wreath from that i just got berry and i loved it and i would repurchase that uh, Snowy Lodge. Okay, this one was a wild card for me. I think Julie had a sale and that's why I had picked this up because she put a bunch of bars on sale or she was going to discontinue some oils or something. So I was like, let me try some that I wouldn't normally try. <sighs> Not for me. Okay, so this is Smoked Embers, Light Citrus, Pine, Patchouli, Cedarwood, Shavings, and White Musk. So performed at a 10 out of 10 and it went for several hours, like more than the average hours, like morning to night it cranked um what I got was pine and citrus and patchouli and I don't love patchouli so this was like it was okay for what it was and I didn't dislike it while it was warming it's just like it was it was overwhelming almost and it was like it's not a metal smell you know what I mean it's not a metal smell I would not repurchase it it was a bit too much for me uh, sugared balsam. This one smells a lot like vanilla balsam from from um, Bath and Body Works. I don't know if this is maybe a dupe or not. I'm not sure, but it's called sugared balsam, and that's what it smelled like. Vanilla balsam from Bath and Body Works. Vanilla strawberry. This is vanilla and sweet strawberries. This was on the lighter side. This was probably about an eight out of ten, and that's still like amazing performance, right? When I say light for Sassy Girl is an eight out of ten, um, instead of a ten out of ten, you know. 
So I did get the strawberry from this and it was kind of a sugared strawberry. It was not authentic. It was definitely a fake strawberry, but kind of sugared. So I did still like it, but I didn't get vanilla. I wouldn't repurchase that one. Vanilla strawberry, I wouldn't repurchase that one. Orca Island. Oh my gosh. Mm, you got to get into it. If you like beach nights and blackberry, you need to get into this. I probably did. I've been doing this one in my bedroom because I do beach nights in my bedroom. So I probably got like six or seven warms out of this brittle in my bedroom. Maybe like, yeah, probably about six or seven warms. So I warmed this several times. I'm super fam familiar for like with how this smells because I warmed it a lot. I got a ton of uses out of this in my bedroom. You are getting the blackberry and the beach nights. And I mean, I, I guess the birthday cake kind of gives it some creaminess. I don't know that I really got birthday cake from this, but I loved that. Julie's beach nights is top notch. Berries and zucchini. Oh my gosh, I just did this one recently and I loved it. It's strawberry pound cake and zucchini bread. I didn't get strawberry pound cake from this. I got like berries, not strawberry pound cake, just like general berries and zucchini bread. I loved it. It was so good and performed great. Let's be friends. Oh, this is a coffee smell. This is strong. Friendship bread with a fresh brewed cup of coffee. This is a strong coffee smell. You gotta like coffee for this. It is in your face. I like those kind of smell smells, so I liked it. Myers Cupcakes. This is amazing. This is black licorice, vanilla cupcakes, caramel, and buttercream frosting. So I get mostly the black licorice because obviously that's a super strong scent note. Um, it does kind of take over, but you kind of get like a black licorice, cakey, vanilla, maybe cake battery, mostly black licorice kind of smell. I love black licorice smell, so I loved this one. And for these brittles, I, I do half a brittle and then half a brittle. I get two warms in my open concept from that. So I did that one twice um, and it was fantastic. Okay, that's it. That's my empties. Oh no, I got my candles. This is gonna be an hour video. I'm so sorry. Let me let me fly through the candles. So I do um, a combination of burning candles and putting candles in my candle lamp. Mostly I put them in my candle lamp. I don't burn them that often. So um, from Goose Creek, I did Vanilla Forest. I got basically no smell from this. Like you do get a hint of woodsiness and then some vanilla, but it was super minimal. It really didn't throw. Like I could smell it if I was right beside it, but it wasn't throwing for me. And I put it under my candle lamp several times and it melts all the way through in my candle lamp. And it just, it didn't do it for me. I like the scent when you're up close, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I did from the Candyland collection, I did Grandma Nut. I highly recommend this. This is like a buttery, nutty, maybe like pecan or I don't know. It's like a buttery, nutty bakery kind of smell. I really loved this. I did this one under the candle lamp as well. It went for several days. Um, it performed fantastically. I could smell it. Like it was good. I, I must have put that one on, I don't know, maybe four or five times. It was magnificent. And then I did from the Candy Lane Collection, Queen Frostine, which is like, this is kind of like a strawberry pound cake sort of smell. Very similar to strawberry pound cake. Wasn't that strong though. I could smell it on the first day that I had it under the lamp. And then sometimes I don't turn off my lamp. I just let it go. So it'll go for like several days and I won't turn it off. Um, so this was one of those ones where I'm just like, well, I love strawberry pound cake. I can just leave that going all the time. So for the first few hours, I could smell it, but it tapered off pretty quickly. And, you know, if I was passing by it, it was there, but it wasn't really throwing. So would I repurchase Queen Frostine? I might, you know, I did really enjoy it, but maybe not. So then I did strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake is everything. It's so good. Um, and it threw okay, but not fantastic, you know? Then I did Hot Cocoa and Cream by Bath and Body Works under the candle lamp. This is a beast. I can still smell this one now. This is a beast. It is chocolatey goodness. I mean, you gotta like chocolate for that. It's so chocolate. It's so rich. It's so creamy. This throws for days and days and days. I can turn off the lamp, 
put it back on on another day and it's still cranking through my house. That is an excellent performer. I purchased it last year and I would definitely, and I purchased like this year and I will purchase it again next year. That's a repurchase for me for sure. Pistachio Toasted Vanilla. I think this one is newer from um, Bath and Body Works. This was good. I burned this one. It burned really nice and clean. And um, yeah, I liked this. It was pistachio, but it was almost like pistachio batter as opposed to like pistachio like cake or, you know, toasted vanilla and pistachio is more like toasted vanilla batter and pistachio. Uh, anyway, I liked it. It was good. I would repurchase it and it performed okay. I mean, I was burning it. So I find when I burn candles, I get like the candle smell, like you could smell the wick burning. So I did get that from it, but that's standard for candles for me. One of the reasons why I put them under the lamp is to avoid that. So uh, yeah, overall, I did really enjoy that one. Okay, that's it. Whew, this has been such a long video. If you stuck it out, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, this is a ton of wax. Like when did I post my last vendor wax video? Like a, a month ago? Like did I get through all this wax in a month? But I think I did. I'm a melting machine because I'm home all day. I work from home. So I sit in my kitchen and that's where I work at my kitchen table. And I, I the only day that I don't work from home is Sundays. Sundays I go downtown and I, I teach in person. Um, but otherwise I work from home morning, night. Like I'm just warming wax all day, every day. And it's amazing. And I love my life. And I go through a ton of wax, you know? So, um... Yeah, let me know how much wax you get through on average in a month. I would love to know if you're like, yeah, I'm definitely going through as much as you, or if you're like, no girl, you are warming like a beast. Uh, let me know how much wax do you go through in a month and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in.